2023 makeup routine you need to try. Listen to me, do your makeup backwards. Browse before any face product. It sticks to your skin better and lasts way longer. Setting spray. If you want your makeup to look smooth and flawless, do this from beginning to end. Curl your lashes, the smallest amount of mascara, you'll feel halfway done and put together already. Hydrate your lips and your skin with a long lasting hydrating primer, all before doing your face makeup. Trust me, it cuts your makeup routine in half and you'll look good no matter what if you're rushing out the door. Under sculpt and under highlight. It'll give you the most natural flawless complexion and always looks very well blended. Last step is the foundation. Apply to the larger areas of your face. For the most coverage, blend with a brush then smooth out with a beauty sponge. And I can't forget concealer. A little bit goes a long way. Blend, set the T-zone over your entire face with a damp beauty sponge. Flawless every time. Let's do a prom makeup look. I pulled a couple looks that I'm excited about. This one looks so pretty. I love this and I especially love the like purple under here. I think I'm gonna do sparkles like this just for the extra prom pizzazz. Love this too, but I think the base is more of my goal. I'm so excited for this one. It's been so long since I've done a prom look. This is the more neutral one, but if you guys want like a colored one, let me know. Throwing out this sheer screen for the first time. Mmm. Okay, now we need some primer because I assume if you're going to prom, you're going to like an after party or you'll be there for a while. So you definitely need your primer, girl. I also just layered it under my eye so that we don't crease. I don't really know if that helps, but we're going to try it. Okay, normally I steer away from foundation, but for the sake of prom look, I'm going to try one of these new YSL foundations. It's so nice and hydrating. I'm also going to take this MAC Hyper Real Skin Balancing Hydration and kind of mix it in. I saw someone do this and it looked like pretty nice. I probably shouldn't have mixed it with my brush because everything went inside of it, but wow, this looks good. I haven't worn foundation since like last year when I did my other prom look. That was absolutely an amazing experience. That looks so good. I know this wastes a lot of product, but a tip for prom is to spray yourself every step. NARS concealer. TikTok is so fast paced for me. It's like quicker than my thoughts can actually process. So I've been considering also doing these looks on YouTube just so they're a bit lengthier and also so I don't have to talk the whole time. Okay, highlighting in all the right places. The NARS concealer is literally too good to even explain. I just completely lifted my face with it just by going like upward. Okay, I'm still gonna go with a few cream products, but before I do, I'm gonna lightly set under my eyes. I noticed that whenever I wait too long, that's when the creasing really starts, so I'm gonna catch it early. Okay, Rare Beauty Bronzer. This is in the shade Happy Soul. I just posted some really fun videos um, the other day and it was like just got ghosted valentine's day love but i literally got ghosted by tiktok so i don't know if it's pushing the videos out to you or not but if you want to go see them go for it but i have some pretty good looks coming up like seeing your crush at a party and a sun kiss look old money look so keep commenting i save all of them nobody told me the rare beauty bronzer had a glow in it that's insane i'm gonna say blush in the shade rosy just use my hands for this one you know what, I'm still trying to figure out where to place my blush on my nose because if I put it right in the middle, it looks so, like, wide. And the Iconic London Illuminating Drops, these are probably the best thing to get for prom. Okay, a little baking. Maybe I should have done this a little earlier. Last face thing is this powder foundation as a bronzer. Okay, we're taking the Mario palette for the eyes. Oops, I forgot to do my eyebrows. <laughs> I just put the bronze all over my lid. Then I take a dark brown and I put that right on the bottom. Putting dark brown right here. Now adding the glitter. I'm gonna add my lashes, I'll be right back. And we're all done. Makeup tips I wish I knew sooner. Setting sprays before your makeup so that your makeup can look smooth and flawless from the beginning to end. Blend in your foundation or your skin tints with your fingers so you can get the smoothest skin-like finish. But once you clean your hands, go back in with a damp beauty sponge to make sure there's no streaks. See what I mean by smooth skin-like? Avoid foundation under your eyes, save that for concealer. Do make sure your under eyes are hydrated and prepped for concealer. Less is more. Always blend upwards for a lifted look. Tap cream products on the back of your hand to avoid a muddy, unblended look. Also, it just looks airbrushed and flawless. After you're done setting your powders in place, lightly spray your sponge with a hydrating setting mist and go back over, make sure everything is nice and blended. You also get the benefits from the spray and your makeup is going to look airbrushed. Spring 2023 makeup, this one's my fave. Instead of tanning drops, we're doing rosy drops. Stick it in with your fingers all over your face. 
trust the process. Any makeup you put on top is gonna give you a rosy spring glow. We're still color correcting. Yellow and the peach just make under eye darkness disappear. Adding in a hint of orange, blend it in with your finger, and our under eyes are completely neutralized. We're doing peach blush for the spring. Blend it in with your fingers. A neutral cream blush on the eyelids. Soft pink pop right on top. A little shimmer. Lashes because we're doing spring glam. A pink powder is a must this spring. If you want a bright, pretty, soft focus effect, you need to try this. A subtle contrast on the lips with a pink gloss. Yup, my new favorite combo. Lots of hydrating mist and you're ready for spring. You only have five minutes. There's eight steps you need to follow to look good fast. First things first, start your makeup backwards. Curl your lashes, add mascara, or apply your false lash if you're a glam girl. Fill in and brush your brows out to add structure to your face. If you have to leave now, at least you have your eyes and lashes done. A good moisturizing primer so that your makeup lasts all day long. If it doesn't have a tacky finish, it's not gonna last all day. She's gonna last. Next, underpaint. Add your bronzer or contour, or use it as both. To blend this out quick, use a medium-sized foundation brush. Cream blush, use the same brush to blend it in. Conceal and perfect the skin however you want. Use a beauty sponge, not a brush, because you're in a hurry. Blend it. Set everything in place with a powder and a beauty sponge because it's quicker. Usually just set the center of my face and my under eyes. If you have time, set your blush with more blush. Blush is my favorite. Go over your eyelids with the blush. Add a gloss or a balm, and you're done. This is a secret that I haven't shared before. Okay, rules were broken, but the final finish was insane. Mix your cream and powders at the same time. Let's try it out. I'm mixing yellow and peach corrector to cancel out my darkness. Great mixture for light, medium skin tones. Color correcting before is just my twist. Dot in your favorite concealer. A little more color corrector for even more perfect, flawless looking under eye. Pick up your favorite translucent powder, tap off, and with the powder, blend in the creams together. So I sped up the clip a little bit so you can see in real time how the cream and powder is working together. I'm gonna tap it in with my finger at the end. Do you think it gave me a flawless under eye? Let me know in the comments. Skin prep before makeup can change the way your makeup comes out. It's so important. Let me show you my morning skincare routine. Let's get this hair out of my face. Take my face halo and pack on this cleanser by Benefit. It's called the Good Cleanup. It's been working really well for me. I have dry, sensitive skin and it's doing its job. I really like it. After that, I dry my face and put on the Clarins Double Serum. Infused with turmeric, which helps all visible signs of aging. Yes, please count me in. It's a two-in-one serum and it gives you visible, firm smoothness and hydration deep into the layers. If you're a dry skin girly like me, this Innisfree Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Serum, you're gonna love. It gives you 24-hour hydration. It supports the skin's moisture barrier and soothes the skin. If you want smooth, flawless under eyes, you need to try this eye cream from Augustina's Botter. It reduces puffiness, dark circles, over time reduces uses fine lines and wrinkles and it is so expensive but so worth it invest in your skin you only get one the true botanicals glossy lip balm is so good at making all the fine lines smooth out and give you long-lasting hydration firms lift supports collagen and gives ultra hydration that's why i love her elemis that was pretty much my last drop but the elemis morning matrix you need i have dry sensitive skin and this really helps to lock in my moisture all day long also everything i'm using works beautifully under makeup Makeup, it's the best while my face dries down i'm gonna put on some deodorant from alley-oop it's a pomegranate aluminum free deodorant that smells so stunning it's also exfoliating it's just beautiful and the final step to prep the skin is this spf 50 from naturium it's the dew glow it does what it says it makes your skin look so glowy and it's protected from the sun in the most beautiful way i am obsessed with this sunscreen my favorite it's super affordable everything will be linked in my bio in case you guys want to check it out my skin is prepped for makeup You guys wanted a tutorial on this eyeshadow look, so here it is. Just adding a little bit of concealer on the eyes. This is our palette of choice today. It's the ColourPop Set in Stone palette. Look how pretty. Picking up the shade Gravel, and that is just going in my crease. With the shade So Chiseled, I'm just going to start kind of darkening the outer corner here and also blending it into the crease. Okay, this is the shape we're working with. Now I'm going to start laying down the shimmers, starting off with this darkest one here. And I'm just patting that on the outer corner of my eye with a flat brush. I cleaned off my brush and now I'm picking up the shade Hammer Time and that's just going right next to the last shade. Doing the same thing with the shade Concrete. You guys, these shadows are so incredible. And finally taking the brightest shimmer and that is just going in my inner corner. 
with our original blending brush, we're just gonna blend that out so that there's no harsh lines. On a little tiny brush, I'm picking up the shade Steady, and I'm using that to draw a shadow wing. Blend that out. Also, I was a little messy, oops, so I'm taking some powder on a flat brush, and I'm just gonna kind of use that to clean up the edge here. Picking up So Chiseled again on a tiny brush, and that is going on my lower lash line. Just added a little inner corner wing using the ColourPop Liquid Liner in Grande. Sephora Eyeliner in Coconut on my waterline. For mascara, I'm gonna go in with these two. First is the MAC Stack Mascara, and Essence Lash Princess is going on top. Popping on a pair of Kiss Ruffle Lashes that I cut in half, and this is the finished look. Brow tips I wish I knew sooner. Apply your brows on a dry, clean base. No primer, no makeup. Your brow products will apply and adhere to your skin way better and last longer. The front of your brow should line up with your nose for symmetry and balance. Line your pencil up with your nose, beginning, arch, and tail. Let that be your guide. Don't color in and block off the front of your brow. It's too heavy. Instead, try light-handed upward strokes for a natural brow look. If you have no brow hair towards the end, lightly sketch back and forth. It'll look like a natural soft brow. Clean up the shape of your brows with a dry concealer brush. I know it's different, but try it. It's less mess. Take a brow powder and go over your entire brow very lightly. Ensure your brows stay in place all day long. Use a clear brow gel to hold your brows in place and brush them up for that model brow look. But after that, lay them down so they look well-groomed and flow in the direction that your hair grows. I'm so sick of cakey makeup looks, so I've been using this technique and I'm obsessed. All at once, apply all your cream products just like this. The key is to use a setting mist. This stops the product from drying out so you can blend it. But it also infuses the makeup with the setting power of your setting spray. So now I'm going to start blending, and I start with the concealer because that's the lightest color, and it's really easy to blend because it's nice and wet from the setting spray. When blending the products go from light to dark, so I started with concealer, moving on to now foundation, and then the blush. Not make this blush mistake, everyone's doing it on TikTok. You make a big stripe and then you blend it in. No matter how much you blend it, it's gonna end up too low and you're gonna emphasize that line. Use an eyeshadow brush instead and blend it from right under your eye all the way up to your temple and onto your eyelid. This side is so dragged down, whereas this one is sculpted and lifted. Try it out, follow for more. Tiga makeup trends yang menurut aku bakal popular banget this year and how they get them. Pertama, nude lips aren't going anywhere. The clean girl aesthetic will still be popular this year. Aku bikin nude lip look pakai shade baru dari Maybelline Vinyl Ink yang shade intriguing sama peppy. Dan hasilnya glossy nude lips yang bagus banget dan ada sedikit pinknya. So pretty. Dua, glossy peach lips. Aku udah lihat ini di beberapa makeup campaigns. To get this look, aku pakai Maybelline Vinyl Ink di shade Charm sama Keen. Ini combo yang bagus banget kalau kalian punya warm undertone atau punya skin tone yang agak kekuningan. Cantik dan natural banget sih. Tiga, buat glossy lips. Aku udah lihat nih dipakai banyak celebrities or fashion runways. Aku pakai shade extra. Ini kayak shade yang bold tapi nggak menor. Ditambah sama super stay matte yang shade 285. Dan hasilnya red lip yang so sexy tapi bisa dipakai tiap hari. Apply on your concealer, blend it out like normal, set it with the lightest amount of powder, just enough to set it into place and to get it mattified, and then go in with the baking technique. All you gotta remember is this, blend, set, bake. Pro MUA Prom Makeup Tips using all drugstore products. No matter how oily your skin is, you need to hydrate. The CeraVe one is my favorite lightweight moisturizer. If you have drier skin, I recommend the Palms Intense Hydration Cream. Apply extra moisturizer underneath of the eye. That way your concealer looks so much smoother there. This is my all-time favorite primer, the e.l.f. Power Grip. Your makeup will stay put with this primer. You want to go in with the foundation that has little to no SPF. SPF 15 is the max that should be in it. SPF in the foundation causes flashback, which won't look good in photos. The L'Oreal True Match is one of my all-time favorite foundation. It works for so many different skin types. It gives good coverage. Coverage, but it's not too cakey, it's super easy to blend out. Got it in the center of the face. Then I pick some up with a damp beauty sponge and lightly push this into the skin. I want to start with a thin layer and add coverage where you need it. This will help for the makeup to look good in person and in photos. Want to contour the nose? I recommend doing that before you do the under eye concealer. That way you can use the concealer to blend out the contour. I'm taking my Milani liquid contour and starting just at the tip of the nose, two dots at the top of the brow. Taking a brush like this and lightly dragging that up. This helps give that definition without it being too harsh. The NYX Bear With Me is such a good versatile concealer. You want to pump on the back of my hand and pick it up with 
a concealer brush, lay it down the sides of the nose first and then spread it out. Chin and a tiny bit down the nose. I also recommend using this to clean up underneath of the brow. Doing this, let's use way less brow product. Whatever's left on my hand, I pick up with my spun. Really light tapping motions, you don't want to rub it. And really push it into the skin. This will help it photograph nice and not look too heavy in person. Taking the liquid contour again and putting some across the forehead. A little line right here. Blending out the jawline first. Less is definitely more with contour. If you're not comfortable, use very little product at a time. Use light pressure when blending it out. That way you're not moving around the foundation and concealer. This liquid contour is foolproof. Super easy to blend out and it doesn't leave any harsh lines. Taking this elf cream blush and working my brush into it. Putting that on the high point of my cheekbones and working that in toward the nose. Doing basic creams first just helps the makeup last longer and flow together so much better. Go over everything one more time with my beauty sponge so that there are no harsh edges. Spray your face with a long wearing setting spray. I'm taking this Koki one. Some of my favorite drugstore powders to set the face with. The Maybelline Fit Me really locks everything in place all day, so I'm gonna use this one today. Any sort of fluffy, slightly dome brush will work. Once my face is 70% dry, I'm gonna push the powder into the skin in circular motions upward. Do a very thin layer of powder. Bronzing with my Physician Formula Bronzer. This is hands down the best drugstore bronzer. Again, lightly pressing this into the skin and not rubbing it. Do not forget to work it down the neck and on the ears. In pictures, it'll pick up everything, so you wanna make sure everything matches. Set the sides of the nose with a slightly fluffier brush. I recommend going in with a matte blush, taking this cookie blush and heartthrob, starting at the high point of the cheek and working it in toward the nose. Look how pretty that color is. Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder to set the under eyes. Taking my damp beauty sponge, always tap off the excess and make sure it's evenly coated. Start at the sides of the nose first and spread that out. This avoids too much powder being underneath of the eye. Another great drugstore loose powder is the Maybelline Fit Me one. Whatever's left, put under the cheeks and push it into the skin. Apply extra powder to the eyelid. Taking this Milani eyeshadow palette, starting with color in the palette, take any sort of straight edge and line that from the lower lash line to the end of the brow. This makes doing the eyeshadow foolproof. Use a fluffy brush, pressing it up against that straight edge and working it back and forth in the crease. Taking a slightly deeper brow. Brown, press that lower than the previous color, work it lower in the crease, take a darker brown with the tip of a shader brush, create a wing with that shadow by pressing it on that straight edge and then pressing it along the lash line. Take a fluffy brush and lightly tap on the edges to blend it out. Take the lightest shade in the palette and focus that in the inner part of the eye. Take a liquid shimmer, this one's by CoverGirl, in the shade 2. Apply some to the back of your hand, pick it up with a small fluff brush, lightly tap it on the eyelid starting from the inner corner and spreading it out. Use super light pressure. You could even apply some to the lower lash line. Take the lightest shade, lightly highlight the brow bone, and use that to soften the edges of the other shades. Push in the powder underneath of the eyes, brush up the brow hair, lightly fill in any gaps with the brow pencil. I'm taking my next one. Use a very light hand and do soft hair-like strokes. Follow the direction of the brow hair. If you don't have brow gel, spray the spoolie with hairspray. It works just as good, if not better. If you've never applied lashes before, go in with half lashes. They are so much easier to apply. These ones are from Amazon. They're linked to my storefront. Fun curling my lashes makes it easier. And apply mascara. Oh my gosh, if this happens to you, don't freak out. Leave it there and let it dry. If you try to wipe it right away, you're gonna get mascara everywhere. But if you let it dry, it'll come right off with a Q-tip. Thin layer of lash glue. Wait 30 seconds before applying it. Bend the lash like this while it dries to fit the contour of the eye. Look down into a mirror with your chin up. Apply the lash at an angle. Take your time adjusting the lashes. Some people find it easier to apply them with tweezers. Go over the lash bin with a liquid liner. This one's by Physicians Formula. Apply black liner to the top waterline. Helps make the pulse lashes look more natural. It's finally safe to remove this. Taking a Q-tip. See how that came right off and it didn't move the makeup around? Taking my eyeshadow brush with no extra product, making sure everything is smooth. I love these Maybelline lip pencils. This one's in the shade Totally Toffee. Follow the outline of your lips. These are some of my favorite long wearing lipsticks. Taking this CoverGirl one in 110. I love the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. Topping it with shade Sun. Take the lip gloss and your beauty sponge or powder puff in your purse so you can touch up throughout the night. And this is the completed prom makeup look. Like and save this video if you found it helpful. Like and follow for more makeup TikToks. If you love flawless makeup as much as I do, then you need a flawless makeup removal routine. Say that five times. These are skincare steps I wish I knew sooner. Grab a good cleanser and a good cleansing remover. Not a wipe. Favorite cleanser from Augustina Spotter. And I just work it onto the brush. Brush head is wet, by the way. I just turn it on. There's different settings. I got this from Target and I really like it because it removes the makeup so fast. It's an antimicrobial sonic cleansing system and just watch how fast it removes the makeup. It's like magic. Are you kidding me? It's amazing. Wash it off, dry. Use a smoothing firming serum. This one's my favorite. Hydrate the under eyes, press into the skin. Hydrate the face, lip balm. Flawless skin, ready for makeup.